Welcome back to my channel once again. Today we'll be talking about how to convert images like these into images that look something similar to the ones that you can see on this slide. So the goal over here is not just to help you understand how to convert these images into circular shaped images, but to help you understand how to work with images of different shapes and sizes, because really you're not always going to get all the images which are going to look exactly the same. You will have multiple people that you're working with and since they're not going to be doing the heavy lifting and they don't know what it takes to convert these images, they're just going to send across whatever they have and you will be the one who will have to work with whatever they send and convert it into some something that actually looks nice. So I'm going to show you two different methods on how you can convert images of different dimensions and make them look consistent. So let's get started and uh, let me just open up a new slide. Let me just get rid of uh, the stuff which is there on the slide. I'll just go to layout and click on blank. So now we have a blank slide. Let me also move this up over here so that we have easy access to all these images. So the first method that I would like to show you is using the crop feature of PowerPoint. Now, if you've not, if you don't know how to use the crop feature, I've actually created an, a video about basics of crop feature in PowerPoint. It will show up on the top right corner of your screen in a card right now. Just right click on it and open up in a new tab and watch it once you've done watching this video. So what I'm going to do is just copy this image from this slide over here and paste it over here and as I said we'll be using the crop feature so we select this image click on the picture format tab and instead of clicking on crop in fact we'll be clicking on this downward facing arrow over here and what we want is crop to shape option over here we just select this option and select this oval shape over here and you'll notice that there is a perfect circular shape that appears and the image is by default cropped into a circular shape. So that's the first method. I just want to fine tune this slightly more before we move on. This image does not have the face of the individual clearly visible, especially if you if you you know decrease the size of the image to something smaller. You just can't see the individual's face over here. So what you really need to do is uh, select this image and go back to the picture format tab and click on the crop option. Now over here, you just need to resize the image such that you can see the face of the individual. It should basically align with the di diameters of the circle which you, is visible using the crop feature. So I'm quite satisfied with this position as of now and what I'm going to do is just click outside anywhere on the slide and there you go. You have the first image which is converted into a circular shape. Isn't that cool? I, I it blew my mind the first time I actually found out about this and how easy it is to just convert any image into a circular shape. So if you're liking this content, if you've learned something new, please make sure that you hit the like button and let me just continue showing you some more cool tricks in this video. So that's the first method that is using the crop feature. There is a bit of a drawback using this crop method. It won't actually work with all kinds of dimensions. Now, if the image is almost perfectly square, it's gonna work perfectly fine. There's not gonna be any problem because when you use the crop feature it will convert it into a circular shape automatically but if the dimensions are not square if the image is not a square image then you will come across a bit of a pickle you know so let's just copy and paste it over here to see what happens so i'm going to go back and do the same process once again i'm going to select this image click on picture format tab click on the crop uh, downward arrow crop to shape and i'm going to select the oval shape once again and this time you will notice that it is not cropped into a circular shape. In fact, it crops into an oval shape. That's primarily because the original image was not a, a square, but rather it was a rectangle. And so that's one of the issues that you will come across when using this first method. But it's an easy fix to this method. And let me show you what you could do over here. Once you've done this cropping, just make sure that you click on the crop button once again. And this time, what we, what we wanna do is adjust the crop handles such that the length and the height of this image is equivalent to each other. So here the width is 6.2 and the height is 6.26 at this point in time. What you gotta do is try to make sure that the height is almost as close to 6.2 as possible in this case. So let me try to do that. All right, so that's 6.2, that's perfect for me in this case. Just click anywhere outside and now you have a perfect circle. Right, so you've managed to crop the image into a circular shape. Now, the other thing that we want to do is make sure that the face looks bigger. And so what we're going to do is adjust the resize handles and make sure you don't select these crop handles over here. You want to make sure that you choose these dots and not these black arrows. So just choose from one of the corners and resize the image such that the face 
of the image face on the image is actually big enough to your satisfaction and it fits perfectly within the circle which is shown over here once you're satisfied just click outside anywhere on the slide and there you have it you have an image that we've converted into a circular shape that's the first method now what i want to do is show you another method the second method which does not involve a crop tool it actually involves inserting a shape using a shape and working with an image in conjunction so let me show you what i mean for that let me just copy this image from here onto the next slide i'll just copy and paste it let me move these images to the side so that we have enough space to work with okay so what you need to do over here for the second method is insert a circular shape onto the slide what we want to do is we need to make sure that we have the image first on the slide and then insert the shape on top of this image and once we have done that then basically work with the shape format tab so let's just insert a circular shape first for that i'm going to click on the insert tab go to the shapes option and choose an oval shape from here there is no option for a circular shape but i'm going to choose an oval shape over here now i'm going to hold the shift key on my keyboard and then drag the circle on the slide and what this is going to do is create a perfect circle shape instead of an oval shape so i'm going to move this over the image on top of the image you won't be able to see the face but that's okay what you need to do is try and cover the face as best as possible such that the face is in the center of this circle. It's okay if it is on the side, just make sure that it covers the face of this individual. I'll show you why in a minute. So first now we're gonna select this image and this is very critical. You need to make sure that you select the image first, only after that you select the shape. Once you've selected the shape, you'll see this shape format tab which appears. Click on this. We're gonna use these merge shape tools is what it's called as. Click on it and we're gonna use the intersect tool over here. So click on it and you will notice that the image is now converted into a circular shape. So this is the second method of converting a, an image of any dimension into a particular shape. By the way, this actually works with any shape that you want. In this case, we've gone with a circular shape, but actually works with a star shape, a pentagon shape, or any other shape that you would like to go with. So just as before, I'm just gonna try and adjust the, the image over here, crop it in a manner that we see the face, uh, which is enlarged and it is covering the center of the circle. To do that, the process is the same. We click on the picture format tab, click on crop and adjust the image over here. Make it large such that the image actually the face of the image is visible face of the individual in the image is actually visible and then readjust it in a manner that it actually aligns with the diameters of the circle over here and once you're satisfied just click outside anywhere and you have the circular shape added to your slide that's amazing isn't it i hope you're really enjoying it you're digging this content what i'm going to do very quickly is just take this last image once again and just repeat the process so that you follow along and it's just very simple i've inserted the image i'm going to go to the insert tab insert a circular shape hold the shift key insert the shape on top of the image cover the face as best as possible and then select the image first then select the circle go to the shape format tab use the merge shape sh shapes tools and then click on intersect and there we have it we have the the image converted into a circular shape now Obviously, I've not created this whole slide. If you ever want to understand how to create this particular slide with all these uh, graphics over here, just let me know in the comments below and I'll probably create a separate video explaining step by step on how you can create a slide like this for your presentation as well. But I hope you've understood how to create these small images, uh, the circular images and convert any image of any dimension into a circular shape which actually makes your presentation look visually appealing and look much nice. Now that you've learned this, I'd like to invite you to watch this next video about design ideas in PowerPoint. It actually explains you how you can design slides very quickly, effortlessly in within a matter of seconds and it makes the slides look really visually appealing. So go check out this video and I'll see you in my next video.